Anatomy and Life Drawing Books In the Life Drawing Academy, we often receive questions about books we would recommend on the topics of anatomy for artists and figurative drawing. This video will answer such questions. Here are several books in various languages that we like and advise our students to check out. You don't have to purchase those books. This selection is just our personal preference. Let's go book by book now. When it comes to anatomy for artists, in our opinion, one author stands head and shoulders above the rest, Gottfried Bames. His original book is in German. Shorter versions are translated into English and Russian as well. This is a Russian version. Alexander Rishkin, a Life Drawing Academy tutor, learned human anatomy for artists from a teacher who personally knew the author of this book, Gottfried Bames, and with whom Gottfried shared his knowledge and know-how. This book covers such topics as the history of anatomy for artists in various countries, and it explains the best ways to learn this topic. The next book is written and illustrated by three Italian art teachers, and as far as I know, it is only available in Italian. Even if you don't know a word of Italian, this book is a great resource for an artist. What I like about this book is its drawings. You can spend hours studying every illustration here. This book is particularly helpful when it comes to the proportions of a human body. The authors did a superb job of constructively building every drawing in amazing detail. The proportions and elements of the body are color-coded and easy to understand without even reading the book. Another book is by the Life Drawing Academy tutor, Alexander Rishkin. It is only available in Russian, yet the illustrations here give clear instructions of how to draw a human head and a classical capital. This book is designed as a helpful guide for art students who want to enter Stroganov Art Academy in Moscow. Such tasks as drawing a portrait and a capital are part of entry exams there. In this book, Alexander tells what to pay attention to when drawing portraits and the sequential steps to use to make it right. Every portrait drawing is split into five to six parts. Every part requires certain knowledge and know-how, which is described in this book. Another book by Alexander is dedicated to figure drawing. It is also available only in Russian. Together with the previous book, Alexander published it as a guide for art students to know what to expect on Stroganov Art Academy entry exams. This book explains step by step how to draw a figure standing in contraposto from life. Examples of figure drawing include both live models and marble statues. The next book is by Vladimir London. Drawing in Perspective is available on Amazon in English as an ebook and in soft cover. It describes the different types and main principles of perspective. It starts with the history of drawing in perspective and continues with practical tips on using various types of perspective. It covers one, two, three, and four point linear perspective, photo perspective, perceptive perspective, as well as aerial perspective. It also explains how to measure alignments, proportions, cross sections, and angles with a pencil. 
Another book is How to Draw a Portrait by Vladimir London, which is also available on Amazon in ebook and softcover formats. In this book, Vladimir explains in detail how to draw portraits in three quarters view. This is a very helpful step-by-step -step guide that even a beginner will find easy to understand and follow. In this book, you will discover not only the sequential steps of drawing, but also information on human head proportions and construction. This is our short list of books you may find interesting. And remember, building good drawing skills depends not only on reading, but on drawing from life.